Hello, how's it going? Big Gumbo here. Uh, I'm just gonna show you what I got at the thrift store with my girlfriend. Uh, we went to the bins this morning. I was gonna originally go to the flea market because everyone tells me to go to the flea market, but I just really hate flea markets, so I didn't go there. So we went to the bins, and then we went to the Goodwills, which are all half off of everything today. So I'll show you what I got at the bins first. With my girlfriend. A lot of stuff, this might be a long video. I got a Christian, and I didn't look up like any sell through rates today. It's all um, slightly longer tail stuff. That was really cheap. A Christian Ajard button up shirt. He's the designer who made, I think, Ed Hardy or True Religion. I think it's Ed Hardy. A Nike, what is that, Red Sox shirt. Not much there, it smells bad. We got, also I hate the bins, but I've been going to the bins at least three times a week. A Columbia hoodie. It's kind of a nicer one, got a cool little graphic print on there. A Nike hoodie, I've been grabbing a lot of Nike hoodies, Under Armour hoodies, they sell just fine. Let's see, some Columbia shorts. A lot of stuff here. Girlfriend found this. It's kind of like a thermal hoodie from Under Armour. So far, everything is probably like an under $20 item. This one I found, it's a vintage Wrangler Western shirt. It's not a pearl snap. It's probably like a $10 to $15 thing. You can find the ones that have the, uh... let's see, am I even recording? Yeah. You find the ones that have like big Aztec prints Super good. Girlfriend found these, just some Vans cargo shorts. Probably $10 if I had to guess. The Vans here, I think it's $1.89 per pound. A uh, vintage polo, Ralph Lauren polo shirt. Very soft, very soft. It's kind of a different material than usual. All Vans stuff, so everything, I think I paid about $70 total for all this Vans stuff. A, uh, another Under Armour hoodie. This one says, stay with the team, stay netcom. I don't know what that is. It's probably some third party thing. Let's see, we got another Polo Ralph Lauren shirt. Basic, probably 10 bucks. This one I pulled out and then some vintage kid said, oh, you just pull that? Good find. It's just a tap out shirt. It's like a, uh, kind of like an MMA boxing type company. Probably like 15 to 20 bucks on that. Depending on the graphic on this, sometimes you can sell them pretty quick, but not for that much money. Um, a children's small Columbia fleece. I just grabbed this because I figured it would be so easy to photograph because it's so tiny. It's probably like 10 bucks. A free people, kind of like a, Shirt or top? Feels like linen. It's probably Lyosol though. It's linen viscose. Viscose is Lyosol. Another word for Lyosol. A Chipotle t-shirt. You know I like to sell employee uniforms if they're super duper cheap. A vintage-ish Disney, Disney World polo shirt. Probably like 10 to 15 bucks. Pretty much everything is 10 to 15 bucks. That's what I'm looking for at the bins. A vintage Made in USA Pro Spirit crewneck sweatshirt blank. 10 to 15 bucks. Um, this is why I don't usually do thrift hauls of bins stuff because it's pretty boring. There's not much I can say about it. I'm not really looking up the sell through rate. I'm just. Um, getting this stuff and pricing it at the bottom of the market so that it sells quickly. This is for my girlfriend. It's a vintage made in USA crew neck sweatshirt that says Monaco on it. Cool. She loves crew necks. We found a Patagucci. This was originally at the thrift for 15 bucks. Uh, it's a 80% Merino wool. I identified it because of the feeling uh, base layer. Patagonia. There's the thing there, probably like 30 bucks because it's 
in super solid condition with no holes, I think. Girlfriend found this. The company is called Carrots. It's a equestrian brand. This is in pretty poor condition. So I'm thinking like 10 to 15 bucks. That's what the uh, logo looks like there. But this brand can be pretty solid for their jackets, especially. Um, worth picking up for a dollar or two. Got a pretty dry mouth. You want to see what my girlfriend calls lizard time? Hold on. <laughs> She's just laying out in the sun. She calls it lizard time. Cause I, I, I spit on you. Sorry. Um, she went to like six thrift stores today, which is, can be pretty rough on someone who's not a thrifter. A Led Zeppelin shirt, not vintage, ten bucks. A welcome shirt, not that cool, ten bucks. My girlfriend found this cool little bag for herself for like her phone when we're hiking. Girlfriend found this vintage made in USA crew neck sweatshirt, kind of basic, whatever. I think it says Las Vegas on there somewhere though. Uh, girlfriend found these Catton board shorts, which do super well over the summer. Catton does pretty well in general, like in terms of the sell three, how fast it sells. Um, those have some stains on them, but they'll still sell. Girlfriend found some, <coughs> excuse me, Columbia snow pants. I think, a, I think a men's medium. Let's see. I think we got one more bag from the ends, I think. This stuff costs a little more because I've got a lot of uh, heavier items. Uh, girlfriend found some Nike sweatpants. You can come in. I grab all the Nike sweatpants, all the uh, Under Armour sweatpants, particularly the, particularly the joggers for both brands do really well. Um, I think Under Armour men's joggers in size medium had like, a couple weeks ago I had like almost 150% sell through rate. Girlfriend found these super uh, clean Lucky Brand jeans. I don't grab them in the thrift, but in the bins I grab them. 36, 32, good size, nice color. Grab this Trader Joe's Hawaiian shirt. Trader Joe's merch does pretty darn good for the around $20 range, but this one had a big hole in it and I still grabbed it anyway. So it's probably more like a $10 item. This has a huge stain on the back that I'm just now noticing. Uh, I might be able to get it out and it should be fine. This is a Lucky Brand camo, I guess you would call it like a field coat, field jacket. I think like 30 bucks if I can get that stain out. Girlfriend found this. Vintage Made in USA Champion jersey. Not much. It's like a little practice jersey. It doesn't have any team on it or anything. Probably like 10 bucks or something. Girlfriend found this. It is a Eddie Bauer men's 2XL plaid flannel shirt. I think that's tartan plaid. Girlfriend found this. It is a little North Face base layer shirt. Girlfriend found this. It is a pair of Levi's 567 bootcut jeans. And I found that the uh, bootcut cuts of Levi's are doing really good right now. I think 517 is another one. I don't remember exactly, but the uh, older, I think it's 517s, sell like instantly. Or maybe it's 567, I don't know. These are vintage, I think 80s Levi's corduroy pants slash jeans. Um, we don't have a patch on the back, but on the interior, there's this little tag, which I believe is the 80s one, if you can tell me the date. I think it's June 1987. You see that? I think it's June 1987. But, could be wrong. I found a Rogue t-shirt. It's like an athletic-y type company. Sell super fast. Their gym shorts sell super fast too. Let's see. I grabbed this one. This company sucks, Diamond Supply. Uh, but this had a huge like Modelo logo on the back and some yellow stains on the front. And I figured out, excuse me, um, 
from a guy on Instagram I was watching. If you use this stuff, hold on. Oh, this stuff here. LA is totally awesome. You get it at the dollar store and on white stuff particularly. It doesn't work on all colors, but I've noticed on white stuff, if you spray it on like yellowing or any kind of stains um, and then leave it in the sun, I guess the UV rays do something to it um, and all that stuff comes like right out. Sometimes you can watch it come out with your very eyes. Also, I've been using a lot of hydrogen peroxide on stuff like there was this one pair of Levi's I got a couple days ago and there was a, a girl had her menstruation in them quite a bit and if you put hydrogen peroxide in them it just all disappeared you got to keep applying the hydrogen peroxide and if you see it bubbling it's working um, girlfriend found a pair of Levi's 550s pretty solid condition 3230 not vintage but Still a nice little $18 item, probably. Girlfriend found a Lululemon. I, I hate these ones. They're like a tank top with a sports bra. They're super hard to photograph. Uh, should be like 15 bucks. It's an older style item. I found a Polar Ruff Room t-shirt. I think it's a vintage tag. Maybe not. And then I found a pair of Boy Scouts cargo shorts. Pretty much all Boy Scouts adult size stuff does uh, pretty well. Let me adjust my camera here. All right. So that is everything that I got at the bins. And then we went to the, uh, some Goodwills, which were all half off. All right, let's see there. So again, this is just stuff that I'm just buying. You know, it's not the best stuff, but I got it because it was cheap. I got a UFC shirt with, I don't really know that many uh, fighters, but I think I know this guy, Oliveira. Oliveira, I think I've heard of him. So that's why I grabbed it because I thought I heard of him. Got a Fox t-shirt. It's like a little uh, $14 thing. And most of these items are around two to three dollars. Like this one in particular is three dollars because it was half off of six. An Ella Bean, very soft uh, polo shirt. A Neil Young shirt, Y2K era, not so vintage. I think it's 2003. Yeah. 2003 tour for $2. This I paid $25 for. It was not half off. I think it's like a $50 to $75 item. It's a Patagonia. Um, uh, it's called H2 No. It's like one of their rain shell jackets. They're waterproof. H2 No is like their waterproof technology. Yeah, and I've the men's ones you can pretty easily get like 75 to 100 for. Or at least that's what I've sold them for. But this one in particular, because it's a women's, probably more like 50 to 75 if I'm lucky. But it's a women's XL, so. Um, yeah, but it'd be $25 for that. Not half off on the red tags. Then we got these uh, Quicksilver Amphibian shorts. That's a staple of your eBay store if you're a clothing seller during the summer. I got this, uh, this is a questionable purchase. It was $350. It's a Wilson 5000 polo shirt. It's vintage. It's kind of cool. It's probably not worth very much. We got a blank Tooltex made in USA crew neck. Girlfriend found that. Those are all right. We have a little, uh, Harley Davidson tank top. I think it's like a youth girls XL. It was $1.50. Before I knew it was half off of everything, I looked up the sell through rate on these Duluth trading coat tank tops, and it was about a 60, 70% sell through rate for women's. 
So I passed on them because they were five dollars, but then I found out it was half off of everything. So I grabbed this and I grabbed this. Typically, when you look up Duluth stuff, the women's stuff has a higher sell through rate than the men's. I found the men's stuff kind of sucks, but I think I grabbed some Duluth men's here somewhere. Here, uh, we got some beta brand pants. Paid uh, three bucks for these. These, for me, sell pretty fast. I don't think the sell through rate really backs that up, but in my experience, they've sold pretty quickly for like 25 to 30. It's like a women's kind of athleisure workwear company. These do good. A Polar Alpharin hoodie. They're like these like lightweight little hoodie shirts. Um, they do better if they don't have a hole on the side, like I just realized this one does. But at least I only paid $3.50 for it. So that one will probably be like $10-$15, bucks, but usually I get like $25 for those if they're a cool color or pattern. We got an Untuck It men's 100% linen button up shirt in a size medium for $3.50. These I paid up on, I think I'll get like 50 bucks. These are Carhartt FR pants, new tags. Uh, I paid $25 for two pairs of them. No, $25 each for two pairs. Both of them new tags. And I've been doing, been doing a little bit of online arbitrage uh, lately. And that's like kind of what I'm paying online for similar things that I'm reselling. Oh, speaking of that, I got this shirt, which I changed into just for this video, from a viewer. I bought it from them. I, I was, you know, looking online on eBay, you know, see if I could find any Western, Southwestern style shirts, because I'm living in the Southwest. And then I bought this shirt for like $20. And they said, oh, Yumbo, I watch your videos. And they sent it out very quickly. So good job on that. I like the shirt. Um, they didn't give me a discount or anything, which, well, that's fine. I don't need it, but, you know, it would have been nice. It's okay. Uh, I've got a pair of Lululemon pants for, I just threw away the price tag, uh, $3.50. Chino pants. I'm oh, just kidding. You don't have to give me a discount. I was just joking about that. Um, got a Ralph Lauren 100% linen, I think. Uh, button up shirt, yeah, 100% linen, it's a men's 2XL for $350. Got an REI Co op tech tee, these kind of suck now for $350. These used to be pretty darn good. Maybe over the summer, the South Rate will go back up on these, but uh, not that great right now. Probably shouldn't even bought it, but I was on a roll. This could be pretty good. This is a vintage Pre uh, Fred Perry shirt. Fred Perry. Uh, the brand that was adopted by the Proud Boys, the uh, far right um, kind of protest group. So if you sell their polo shirts online, you're probably selling it to one of them, particularly their black and yellow ones, I believe what they were. But Fred Perry also sells very well for their vintage, their jackets, all their other items uh, do pretty darn good. So this one, it has a couple little holes in it, but it's a vintage t-shirt which is a hot category to sell on eBay. So I think that, I th I'm gonna list it for like 35 or 40 probably. Girlfriend found an Athleta uh, sports bra for 250 for $3. I found in, I'm starting to pick these up now again because I'm hoping that these sell three will uh, bounce up in the next couple months here. So I'm just preemptively buying these. An Under Armour polo shirt for $3. But they do good because golf gets popular during the summer. A semi-vintage, majestic Chicago Cubs shirt. Uh, maybe it's not, uh, it's, it's on this tag, which is an older tag because Majestic screen prints all their stuff now onto the label. Young, who is that? Chicago Cubs Young 38. I don't know. That was uh, $2. Some guy like the Chicago Cubs. The Chicago Bears, sorry. I was writing correct, man. I'm looking like an idiot here. I thought it was the Cubs. That's baseball. Okay, so this one? Is that Cubs or Bears? That's the Cubs. This is the Cubs. Okay. This one says Chicago Bears. Okay. Two different things. 
So this one is Chicago Bears. And this guy, I think, might have like worked for the team or something. Because he's got his name on there. Uh, $2 on that as well. And I got a couple of those, I think, from this gentleman. Or this woman. Janie Banoir. So look her up, Janie Banoir. Maybe she's famous. And then we found some vintage Fred Perry shorts. Which I don't know, I didn't look any of this stuff up, like I said. Got some stains on there, but I'm gonna spray the LA's totally awesome on there. That's what the logo looks like. And this stuff sells really well. Not huge prices on their basic polo shirts, which is the item you'll probably find the most, but uh, usually pretty darn good sell through, right? I haven't looked it up in a while though. I'm sure it's fine. Uh, some Under Armour golf pants for three bucks. I mean, sorry, shorts. And the Under Armour shorts and Under Armour pants do have a much better sell through rate than the Under Armour shirts. Under Armour pants, they sell super fast. Just another Under Armour polo. Three bucks. Sip here. Let's make sure I'm still recording here. All right, we're still recording. Girlfriend found this. Uh, Duluth Trading Co. Uh, tank top women's 2X. Good size, three bucks. I might try these on actually. Uh, these North Face hiking shorts here. Because I'm going hiking tomorrow. Size medium, men's. Three dollars. What do you think about these ones? Yeah, maybe. Yeah. So I'm gonna wash those and try those on. Otherwise, it's probably be like, uh, maybe this summer, like $18, more like 15 probably. This was $3. It's a Columbia, this is a Columbia tag you'll probably see all the time. It's just uh, River Lodge. They make like their button up shirts with more graphic prints on them. And this one has a, what, a swordfish on it, I think? Or a marlin maybe? Something like that. Probably like 15 bucks. And we got another one. This one's kind of cooler because it's a actually Columbia PFG. Or maybe it's not. But the little beer that this fish is drinking says Columbia PFG on it. So I'm going to put PFG in the title. That's pro professional fishing gear or performance fishing gear. Can't remember. Here's a cool KUHL shirt. $3. And another one. These ones are kind of nicer and more modern-y looking. So I'm gonna look up the style code on these, which is located under the material tag there. When it's an older looking cool shirt, I won't even do that, I'll just say cool shirt. Girlfriend wanted this shirt. It's a vintage shirt with a little bear on it. So she gets that. I grabbed some Quicksilver Waterman shorts. Not a good selfie rate on Quicksilver Waterman shorts last time I looked. And this waistband I just realized is cracking, so I'm just gonna throw these away. These were $3. Let's see what else. It's a Luth Trading Co shirt. $3, button up. Also not a good selfie rate on those, but you got enough of them in your store, they do sell. I wouldn't recommend them if you have a small store. We got a pair of uh, polo. Okay, whew. I thought I messed up for a second because it says polo company jeans on the button. These actually might be fake. But then there's this like little strap on the back of these that says Ralph Lauren, which is kind of why I got them. Let's see. Now this kind of looks legit to me now because on um, polo ruffler and uh, shorts and pants, their size tag is usually located like on the inside of the fly. And that's where this is located, which makes me think maybe it is not fake. Velcro back carpenter short. Yeah, I think they're legit. Just some kind of like 90s baggy jean shorts from Ralph Lauren for what, three bucks? Yeah, 350. 
And then uh, for another 350, we have some Prana shorts, women's, like a red striped, stretchy twill. What's annoying is that twill is in the drop down menu for material, or uh, not material, uh, fabric type for women's clothing, but not on men's on eBay, which is like, why would they not have twill as a fabric type for men's? Because men's clothing is made out of twill all the time. This company is called Bird Dogs. They make pants and shorts with underwear liners in them. I didn't look at the liner, I forgot. A lot of the times there are skid marks. Uh, yeah, it looks clean. These were only 350. Should go for like 50 bucks. Oh, maybe not. It's missing the inner button. There's like a second, there's a, the, this button on the front, but the inner button, and I've sold these short or pants with the same problem before. They do a really crappy job. They like clamp on this button and then it's missing. They still will work and close like pants should do, but these also have some stains on them as well. But they're only 350 and it is a really good company. I still will get at least $25 for them. Uh, we have some more Under Armour pants. Not so stretchy, a little bit stretchy. I'm gonna call these golf pants in the listing. The listing will say Under Armour pants, men's 3232 beige golf, performance stretch elastic waist, uh, maybe heat gear if it says that. Interesting, yeah. And I, a lot of the times I won't buy something if I can't think of a good title for it, especially for like vintage shirts, like if it's a more basic shirt with like a picture of a monkey on it. If I think of the title in my head and the title is Vintage Monkey Shirt, and I go, oh, and I don't buy it. Here is a Lotto soccer jersey, it's a vintage one. So for this one I would say Vintage Lotto jersey. It doesn't have a team. It's vintage made in USA. It's probably like a $10, $15 thing. It was three bucks. So were these, I think. These were $3.50. Another pair of Under Armour pants. Oh, same size and style as the last ones I just showed you a minute ago. And another one of those. All $3.50 for three of those. Those are all going to sell for about $20 really fast. Girlfriend found this. It's a 511 Tactical Women's shirt top. For three fifth three dollars. Five Eleven Tactical has been doing super duper well for the men's clothes lately. I sell the rate. Look, every time you find a pair of uh, Five Eleven Tactical cargo pants in particular, look up the sell through rate. It's probably over a hundred percent. Here is a Polo Ralph Lauren shirt. I'm thirsty. This one was four dollars. They priced this at eight dollars. That's insane. It's not, I should, probably shouldn't have even, oh, well, this will be fine. It'll be like 15 bucks. If this were in super clean condition, see how it's kind of fuzzy? 25 bucks, easy. The camo stuff for Polo Ralph Lauren and the Hawaiian print stuff is super easy money, even if it's just basic t-shirts. Well, this was priced up high too. This was $8, paid $4 for it. This is a territory head shirt. I would have liked to have paid three for that. I kind of wasn't really looking that much at the prices. I was just like half off good. Here's a pair of uh, Under Armour joggers and it's men size small. So uh, they had a good sell through rate in size medium. So I'm assuming the sell through rate is slightly worse than a size small, but it should be fine. Probably like 15 bucks. Another Eddie Bauer flannel shirt. This one was $8 too that I got half off. That's crazy. So I paid too much for this. I think $4 is too much for Eddie Bauer. It's more of a three and down. Three and down kind of company. Let's see. Here's some Prana pants. See, these Prana pants at the same thrift store were only uh, $7 with the Eddie Bauer shirt. At the last thrift store I went to, there was an Eddie Bauer shirt the same as that for $15. Red tag, no discount. Insane. But these are Prana pants. These aren't the Zion pants. The Zion, these might be the Bryon pants. There's a Bryon pants and a Zion pants. I think the Zion pants have a, a belt thing. So I think these are the Bryon pants, or Brion. I can look up the stock code and make sure when I list them. 
pair of Nike golf pants, worse than Under Armour golf pants, but for 350, should be fine. And I'm just saying worse based on my experience. I don't know the sell through on Nike ones. And a pair of Orbis shorts for uh, half off of $7, so 350. Only reason I got these ones, because I don't really like Orbis that much. I don't think if it's vintage, or if it has something neat going on. Like this one's got this kind of cool little belt. I pretty much just bought it for this belt. And I think that's everything I got. So, thank you for watching. I'm Big Yumbo. Okay, thank you. Bye.